Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Munition squadrons are the backbone of military readiness, ensuring that the armed forces are equipped with the necessary firepower to execute their missions. These specialized units meticulously handle, store, and maintain a vast arsenal of munitions. They serve as a valuable resource for other units, providing technical support and guidance on the proper use and maintenance of munitions. Their expertise extends to troubleshooting and resolving any issues that may arise, ensuring that the armed forces have the necessary knowledge to utilize their arsenal effectively. At certain moments, experts from those squadrons are sent to munition factories to see how each type of munition demands a unique manufacturing process requiring specialized equipment and expertise. Munitions storage areas are specialized facilities designed to safely and securely store a wide range of munitions. Including explosives, bombs, missiles, and other weapons. These strategic locations are found at air bases, naval installations, and other military facilities worldwide, playing a crucial role in maintaining the readiness of armed forces. In such areas, munition squadrons like the 35th Operations Support Squadron or the 379th Expeditionary Maintenance Squadron Munitions Flight play a crucial role in tracking the movement and performing routine maintenance and repair processes on the MSA munitions to ensure their continued safety and effectiveness. The logistics of moving munitions is a complex and critical operation that demands meticulous planning, coordination, and adherence to strict safety protocols. Given the inherently hazardous nature of munitions, a comprehensive risk assessment is conducted, considering factors such as the type of munitions, the distance of transport, the mode of transportation, and environmental factors. Munitions packaging is designed with durability and safety in mind, utilizing various materials suited to the type of ammunition being transported and stored. Corrugated fiberboard boxes are commonly employed for small caliber ammunition, providing cushioning and moisture protection. Larger munitions are packaged in robust wooden or plywood boxes for enhanced strength. Highly sensitive munitions, including explosives, are often enclosed in metal containers, offering maximum protection against impact and electromagnetic interference. Detailed documentation of the munitions being transported is maintained, which is crucial for tracking the movement of munitions and ensuring proper accountability. Munitions are transported in specialized vehicles designed to withstand the stresses of transportation and protect the munitions from damage or accidental detonation. These vehicles may be armored, equipped with fire suppression systems, and have specialized suspension systems to minimize vibrations. At the destination, specialized mechanical offloading equipment is used to unload heavy munitions or large quantities of munitions safely. Finally, munitions are inspected upon offloading to ensure their integrity and the absence of damage or defects. 
verification procedures confirm the accuracy of documentation and ensure the correct munitions have been delivered. Ammunition production exercises stand as crucial catalysts, propelling the evolution of weaponry and equipment to new heights. By simulating real-world conditions, these exercises subject ammunition to rigorous testing, scrutinizing its performance and quality under diverse scenarios. These exercises play a pivotal role in ensuring the readiness and effectiveness of armed forces. Providing invaluable training for munitions personnel and enhancing their ability to fulfill their mission under challenging conditions. They provide a platform for testing and validating new munitions, production techniques, and equipment. By introducing new technologies and methodologies, Munition squadrons can identify potential improvements in production efficiency, safety, and accuracy. Uh, right now, we are in the middle of CAPEX. CAPEX stands for Combat Ammunition Production Exercise, and it goes on for four days. We're out here trying to show that when it comes to wartime, we can build the bombs and get ready to go at a moment's notice and it's really great for everybody to get to participate in it, especially the people who are coming out from other bases. And I love feeling like I'm a part of something bigger and knowing that what I do every day contributes to the safety of America and our allies. By recycling blank ammo, we reduce the demand for new raw materials, such as brass and copper, which helps conserve natural resources and minimize environmental stressors associated with mining and extraction processes. Spent blank cartridges are collected from various sources, such as shooting ranges and training facilities. This collection can be done through direct pickup, drop-off stations, or partnerships with organizations that manage waste streams from these facilities. Upon collection, spent blank cartridges are sorted and pre-processed to remove any non-metallic components, such as paper labels, plastic caps, or bullet fragments. The pre-processed brass cartridges are thoroughly washed and cleaned to remove any remaining contaminants, such as gunpowder residue or primer particles. The cleaned brass cartridges are shredded into small pieces called granules, which are separated and refined to isolate pure brass from other metallic impurities or non-metallic contaminants. Finally, they are melted and cast into ingots to be used for other parts or components. U.S. Army depots play a crucial role in the maintenance, repair, and renovation of military equipment and munitions, including ordnance. Renovation lines or facilities with these depots are responsible for inspecting, refurbishing, and upgrading various types of ordnance to ensure they meet required standards for safety and functionality. To initiate renovation, the ordnance is disassembled into its individual components for thorough examination and refurbishment. Then it is cleaned, and necessary restorations are carried out to ensure they meet safety and operational standards. Finally, restored components are subjected to rigorous testing to verify their performance and reliability to be reassembled together. Ammunition renovation is also a main operation for military ordnance as it transforms aged or surplus munitions into reliable assets fit for modern missions. 
At facilities like the Bluegrass Army Depot, skilled technicians employ advanced techniques to revitalize 155 millimeter projectiles with renewed reliability and prepare for future deployment. Within the intricate mosaic of multifaceted military roles, each military occupational specialty, or MOS, serves a distinct purpose, contributing to the seamless functioning of the armed forces. The 89A specialist takes on the responsibility of managing ammunition stockpiles, a task integral to operational readiness. They meticulously record, monitor, and manage ammunition inventory, ensuring accuracy, security, and accountability. Using advanced data systems, these specialists optimize ammunition distribution and provide crucial insights for decision-making. The ordnance building process for bombers, like the B-1, begins with a thorough analysis of the operational requirements and performance expectations for the ordnance, considering factors such as payload, range, accuracy, and environmental conditions. Appropriate materials are selected based on their strength, weight, durability, corrosion resistance, and compatibility with the intended application. Common materials include various grades of steel, aluminum alloys, composites, and specialized alloys. Skilled technicians perform specialized welding and assembly techniques, like GMAW seam located components into the final ordnance configurations. These techniques must adhere to strict quality control procedures and ensure the integrity of the welded joints. Ultrasonic and radiographic testing are employed to detect any flaws or defects in the ordnance components without damaging them and functional tests are conducted to verify the performance of the ordnance under simulated operating conditions. The loading process is facilitated by the BL-1 weapon loader, which is a diesel-powered vehicle meticulously designed to transport and load stores, including the quick strike mines onto the aircraft. It has a low profile and high maneuverability due to the combined front and rear steering systems, providing the stability necessary to handle hazardous cargo. It has safety features, such as a seat switch that prevents vehicle operation when the driver is not seated, and an emergency manual hydraulic system to operate the work table lift and fail-safe brakes should a hydraulic malfunction occur operated by highly trained personnel, the loading process must be dealt with at any possible conditions. During snowstorms and adverse environments, the loading equipment must function flawlessly, maintaining stability and integrity. Navigating through snow-covered terrain, weapon loaders must exhibit the resilience required to transport munitions reliably having add-on tools such as laser systems to position the cargo. The advancement in technology for ammunition production and logistical processes has significantly transformed the landscape of modern warfare. Innovations such as automated manufacturing, precision engineering, and data-driven supply chain management have not only enhanced the efficiency and speed of ammunition production, but have also led to the development of more sophisticated and precise munitions. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.